Connected cities really are the wave of the future. What it boils down to is, is that um, it allows the citizens of the city to have in the palm of their hand all of the resources that that city provides. Typically you will have different counties or cities who have stood up their own operations and they don't cross collaborate or communicate. Unfortunately during uh, the events of 9-11 there were times where you know like the the fire department was unable to commun communicate and collaborate with the police department and hence it caused a lot of problems. Today all of that is being changed and fixed uh, through various investments through Connected City initiatives. Breaking down those silos and being able to communicate across those geographic boundaries is absolutely essential. These communities are able to decrease their response times. They're able to increase the amount of professional development and training that they have access to. AVISPL is consistently on the edge of emerging technology. We have access to any given collaborative technology as it's available. A lot of times you've got uh, solutions that are either from Cisco or from Polycom that are that provide video conferencing back and forth and that has so many different benefits. Being able to use a Crestron controller to actually launch a scheduled video conference and then to control other aspects of peripheral technologies around the room or in the operations center has made our job much easier. If you're interested in starting with doing a connected city, really there's a lot of things to consider. Your size, your population, and then also understanding what critical infrastructure that you have. Our production includes defining the technologies that the end user will require, designing the system so that it integrates and scales, deploying the systems throughout the organization, and then training all of the business units within that organization to increase adoption and utilization. Grant programs are really a, a vital piece to making sure that you're able to afford the technology that's out there. We work very closely with both the Polycom and the Cisco grant assistance programs to make sure that we're finding not only the, the best uh, grant vehicle that's out there, but also they have uh, the ability to help you write and create those narratives. AVI SPL actually does have a public sector practice. We understand the guidelines from procurement all the way to the legal ramifications if those processes are not followed. We've got so many offices and so many preferred vendors. We actually have over a thousand providers that we work with. So if you've got a project or a vision that you're like, boy, I just don't have time to research this, we can do all that for you. We can take your vision and make it a reality as quickly as we possibly can.